Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Really, Jerry? Is that what you think, buddy? Try, I already know the drill. I try to do the intro, and then I feed the animals, and you guys can't hear anything because the animals are too freaking loud. So we're going to solve this problem by feeding them first, and then I'll talk. There you go. Bony apple feed, everybody. There you go. Yep. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yep. Get you some right in there. Yep. Oh, really? Why would you do that? Hey. Jerry, right there, right there, yep, there you go. All right, yep, okay, llama, I'm coming, llama, hang on. Let me get a couple more over here. No, 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 llama, llama, no, llama. Hey, trying to go right there, right there, there you go. All right, keep going, keep going. Woo, they settled down, cheese and rice. These animals are nuts out here. They love their grain. All right, Kobe. Oh, I missed completely. All right, so anyways, animals are in the process of getting fed right now. They there's Hey, there's an empty trough right there. Hey, sheep, there you go, sheep. Yep, there you go. All right, so welcome back to another episode. Starting the day off with the animals. Here you go, llama. Llama, hey, right here. Right there. Hey, llama, this one's for you. Save that for somebody else. Hey, you want this? You want this? Come here. No, Rick, 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 get off the fence, Rick. This is for llama, Rick. I guess it's for Rick now. Starting, oh God, Carol. Calm down, Carol. Starting the day off, feeding the animals, making sure everything is alive well and not dead. Head count on everything, looking pretty good. I don't see any missing missing amigos right now. Oh, there you go, Carlos. Carlos, you hey, Carlos, you want some? Here you go, Carlos. Carlos, that's for you, buddy. Here, I'll give you guys a little bit more over there, too. Anyways, what I am trying to say, as I'm trying to feed all these guys, is welcome back. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Starting the day off, the animals, we are going to be working on the new pond, uh, the cabin pond today. By myself, still, uh, still have corona. Still can't taste anything, can't smell anything. If you guys missed those videos, uh, I talked about it. I, sh I filmed getting tested, talking about it a little bit. My symptoms are pretty much the same today as they've been in the last few days. Oh, Millie, hey, quit chasing the chicken. Hey, Lucy, no, no. No, no, leave Marty alone. Leave Marty. Hey, leave. No, 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 no. Marty, run. Marty, I am sorry. I'm sorry you gotta go through that. All right, here you go, buddy. Marty's fine. Cheese and rice. My dogs are freaking not. Ch chicken, save yourself, rooster. Run away. Go hide. That way the dogs don't get you. I still have Corona, COVID-19. Still have it, still can't taste, still can't smell, but symptoms pretty much similar to the last few days. I feel totally fine. Don't have a fever, don't have headache, don't have aching body, uh, don't feel like I'm dying. I do have shortness of breath. Oh God. Come on chickens, hurry up, Hennifer. Come on Hennifer, hurry up, they're gonna get you. Nope, Millie, stop chasing the chicken. I do have shortness of breath though. That, I mean, I'm out of shape too, there is that, but. Rooster, if you guys would just stay in your pen, we wouldn't have this problem, you know what I'm saying? Millie, Millie, Lucy, hey, uh, hey, leave them. No, 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 stay, stay, Lucy, let them get back. You stay. Good girl, you stay. You stay. All right, chickens, come on, sometime today, let's get going. No, you stay, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, you don't get them. You get Chungus. What's Chungus doing? Come on, chicken and rooster. Get going. Come on. Vamanos, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're gonna get you. Hennifer, you better hurry up. Oh, rooster's safe. Hey, hey. No, Hennifer. Hennifer, leave him alone. Leave it, Lucy. And they made it. Okay, we're good. Nothing dies. Thank God. Back to Corona. I'm sorry. This intro is all over the place. Feeling good. Feeling fine. Still riding solo. Don't want to spread it. Haven't seen Banjo or Pool Jet uh, for some time now. But Banjo is going to come out today. He is, uh, we're going to socially distance. Um, but he is going to bring me some supplies because so far for the pond, we cleared the land. We built the dam. We dug it down. Got the old mini excavator stuck. That was kind of a botch. And now it's time to put some structure in place in some of the holes, the mounds, the hills, the points, whether it's natural being cedar trees or PVC with some concrete, some quick crease, stuff like that. We're going to basically make some structure today by myself, cut down some trees, take some trees that we already had to take out in order to build the dam. There's a lot of trees, so chop off the trunks and set them down in some of these holes and stuff like that. But essentially the goal today is going to be build the structure enough to where, you know, there's some really Really nice fish habitat whether again it's rocks or pvc or cedar branches or whatever it might be build what we can make it as you know friendly to the fish giving the bait fish places to hide uh, from the predator fish and, and so on and so forth so that is the plan but if you guys are interested in any of the new beefcake merch it is now available it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out we got hats we got shirts a bunch of other designs here beefcake construction llc if you guys want to rock the old kinky boy t-shirt if you're into that. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. Use promo code FLAIR to get 10% off of your purchase. It is now available. We just dropped it and supplies are limited. So if you guys are thinking about it and you guys want to check it out, click the link down below and go do that before it is gone 
four. Good. Chungus, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, you're in the shadow. What are you doing there, Chungus? You hanging out, buddy? You want some grain? I moved his cage. Wow, he went through that in like a day. I should say she. I moved the cage like whatever that is, four feet. Ate all the grass. Chungus, you're a freaking animal. Anyways, better get some Chungus some grain here. You want some grain, buddy? Chungus, here you go, buddy. There's some grain for you. Well, Chungus has grain. Still need to get Chungus some more hay. I've been moving. Jared, can I help you? Do you need something? I already gave you some grain, buddy. I gave every, look, everybody's still eating their grain. All right, did you finish all your grain already? I've been moving Chungus's cage a little bit. You can see the track we've made. And I pulled it back actually quite a bit. I'll move it today. We'll give Chungus some fresh grass. You guys just hang on, stay tuned. <laughs> Chungus got fresh grass, baby. From there all the way to there, Chungus has fresh grass. I used the uh, four-wheeler to move it, so I don't have two beefcakes with me like usual. Just got a beefcake four-wheeler to help you. So there you go, Chungus. Chungus is in there eating grain. Lots of fresh grass for Chungus to munch on. We are good to go. So with that being said, all the animals are taken care of. Banjo should be here any freaking minute with all the goods for building some structure for these fish in the new cabin pond. So stay tuned. Shoo. Shoo! Look who showed up. Socially distancing. Don't. I won't sneeze. I promise. I'm the Uber delivery from Menards. That's it. You're. You work for Menards. Huh? He's the delivery guy. So what we've got here from afar. Luckily this camera has zoom. Uh, we got cinder blocks, ten of them, and then four bags of fast setting concrete mix for the structure. So Banjo ran and did the shopping for me, so I didn't obviously go to the store and endanger people. And uh, you're going to the cabin, so you know you can't help me make these things. I'll be I'll be rocking solo on building all these things. But he brought them, so he's he's uh, he's the the OG for for bringing them, and we're gonna load them up into here. And we've got some PVC that I already had and some buckets and stuff like that. So, anyways, Banjo's on delivery duty, so we're gonna get these guys loaded up and then get to building. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Well, folks, I made it down to the pond. Banjo took off doing banjo things. But um, we've got the mule loaded up and I got the four-wheeler down here. We're gonna probably use both. I trust the four-wheeler and the marshy stuff more than this because it's a lot lighter. This one also does have a winch, which is nice. If I get that thing stuck, um, yeah, rip. Here's all the supplies that we're gonna need. This is what Banjo brought. Cinder blocks, these weigh like 40 pounds each. You got the heavy duty guys. We got some quick crete. I've got a sled. That sled is to transport, whether it's a PVC structure or a cedar structure or whatever, but essentially if I can attach that sled to that hitch and drag it around, I should be able to, cause that thing will float. So if it, you know, if we get in water or whatever, that, I mean, that thing won't float, but that will. So it should be able to kind of transport. That's how I'm gonna transport this stuff. If it's just straight up a cedar tree, I've got a chain and I'm gonna wrap it around the trunk and then just drag it in there. But if it's something that, you know, I make out of a cedar block or out of a cinder block or PVC or something that I'm gonna want to stand up straight, then I've got the sled for that. We've also got a few five gallon buckets here that we're just laying around that I figured we could use as well. So we have, I think I had them get 10 of these blocks in which some of them I'm gonna make out of PVC. I only grabbed the PVC that I had laying around the house. I didn't have Banjo grab anymore because I I mean, I've got, let's see, how many do I have? I've got three, six, nine, bit 12. I think there's a couple down there. So 12 to 15 sticks. So we could probably make, you know, you're gonna want probably five or six. So we could probably make two to three artificial PVC ones. And again, you can always add more after. You can sync these after, um, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit easier being able to go drive around down there that would be the goal is to be able to drive down there but then like these guys what i can do is i can cut off a cedar tree where the trunk will fit into here you stick the trunk in it you pour the quick creed in it and then you pour water in it and it'll cure to it i said that's that's kind of the goal with that or vice versa you could put the cedar tree in here if it's a big trunk son of a gun and then put the quick creed in there then pour water and then let it sit so that's essentially the plan right now we've got to uh we've got to get to work here before the sun goes down but i'm also going to be using this the old milk toast boat oh i mean it's milk toast we shot it we did all sorts of cool stuff with it and then i think i wasn't even filming that day off camera i ended up grabbing it with the excavator and i uh, picked it up not really sure why i did that but basically this thing is milk toast that being said i want to sink this thing this is a really awesome piece of structure It'd be really cool to catch a fish from the boat so i'm thinking if this thing's sitting down and then put a couple cinder blocks in here maybe like two or three with the cedar trees and this would be one big piece of structure like this whole thing would be a big piece of structure that will get flooded essentially so we're gonna have to find a pretty deep spot for this one this might be one where i get it close 
close to the water's edge on that side by the dam and shove it off and see if I can just get it into the water and see if I can sink it. I might try that because that way it will be down in the really deep part of the pond. I don't know how deep, I mean, it'd be deep, but it, you know, if you've got a five or six foot tall cedar, I mean, the pond might be pretty shallow in some area. So I, I want to make sure that it's going to be in some nice deep water. So I'll either shove it off the dam or I'll shove it into one of the holes that I dug in the last episode episode three i believe it was and so that's pretty much the plan for right now so what we've got to do is we've got to acquire some trees we have a quite a bit of them over there where they took out all that hillside they saved a bunch of cedars and there's some really really big trees that they took out to put the dam in that we can utilize as well so really we just got to go find some trees now i'm trying to decide how i didn't really think this one through did I? Because I, I, if I go park that over there, then I've got to walk back here and grab that. And then I got to grab this. So would it be easier to bring the trees to me and build them here and then go drag them down? Or would it be easier to set up shops somewhere else closer to the trees? If I do that, I'm going to have to go down and then walk back and grab the, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of lazy. So would it be easier to grab the tree and drag it here? Probably. This could be a good little workstation too, because you've got a table, you can pour the, con okay. So we need to go find some trees. Alrighty folks, we're on the move. We've got the old chainsaw attached in case I gotta cut down some trees, but I'm gonna try just bringing a few trees back to me and try to build a few of these little structures here. Lucy, Millie, what are you guys, you, you on tree duty? You gonna help me find some trees, buddy? We're gonna see what we can find here to use. Lucy, don't, don't go in front, don't go in front of the four-wheel. What are you thinking, crazy? Oh, I see one right now that looks like it's already yeah, this one would work for a little smaller guy right here. See this guy? That would work. That one already got pulled up. There might be, it looks like there, yeah, there's one more right there. I mean, I can cut any, actually, that one I think is uprooted. I'm pretty sure he set that down there. Chad, the dam builder, I told him any good cedars he pulls, try to save them for me. So that's a big one. I mean, that one, I'll probably just drag that one down by itself and throw it in with no blocks or anything. I'll save that one. But this one, that's a big dog, but that could probably go, if I shaved off and gave it a longer trunk, I could probably get that one in a five gallon bucket. Let's try dragging over there and see. Well, it works. We got one hooked up, so we're gonna go ahead back and I don't know, try to stick it in a bucket, I think. Shoo! All right, we made it back. We got one tree here, and uh, I think this would, it'd work for a bucket. So let's try to get a bucket mixed up here and see what happens. <laughs> Like I'm working too hard for this. I feel like if I just threw those in the pond, it'd make more sense, you know? Like, I don't know. I feel like this is a lot of work, but I'll at least make one and see if it, as long as it stands up straight, I guess that's all that matters. So essentially this thing's gonna look like this. Oh God, I cut off too many limbs. See if I can get it to, to harden. That's a heck of a brush pile if it stands up straight. That's the goal at least. I don't know if it'll work or not. All those limbs I cut off, I just realized I could probably just shove them back in there. So now I'm not an expert and quick creep but you need water i think and uh just concrete i think that's all you need two two ingredients so hey can i can i help either one of you no that is the concrete water don't drink it that is for concrete uses only see how awesome it is to have dogs this is just great i imagine this would like have kids no lucy you don't need con no you don't need concrete stop it we'll do about a half a bucket's worth because by the time you shove it in there this is definitely enough weight i'm gonna go ahead and add some water now you bring me a stirring stick this is my stirring stick you want here you can take all right let's add some water hey come here bring me my stirring stick back hey no this is my stirring stick no Lu loose this is what i have to deal with right now hey here you want this Go get that piece. All right, now I got, I still got some water. Hopefully I didn't put too much water in it. I put quite a bit, but there was a lot of, uh, a lot of mix. So you basically just want to stir it up all the way until it's got a, you know, a concrete consistency, essentially. I mean, even if it's a little too much water, you can always try dumping some out. It's always good to start with less water, unlike this guy who just poured in three gallons. I mean, a lot of people will do this and then they'll pour it, but I mean, you can just make it right in. The only problem is, is getting that tree down in there. Ideally, you would stick the tree down and then you'd pour it, which I mean, I could always use this bucket and take the concrete from this bucket and pour it if it doesn't work. But mixing it all in one, a lot easier than pre-mixing it. Your only downside is, no, don't get in the concrete. Cheese and rice. Your only downside is uh, it takes a lot forever to mix it, essentially, because you got to sit here and with a stick versus like having a big cement mixer or having a big tub to move it around in. But I think this will work. I might, have still, I might still have a little too much water in it, but I still think there's quite a bit of mixing to do. I should have 
Should have brought like a little crowbar or something to mix this stuff up with. It would also probably help to just add a little powder, a little water mix, and then keep going. Because I got super dry powder down here. That's pretty impossible to get to. Where's Banjo when you need him? Oh, that's still all dry in there. Yeah, I don't think I have too much water. I don't think I've done a very good job mixing it. All right, I've got a new plan. I'm using this bucket. I'm gonna use this concrete and pour it in there, but we gotta get the tree in it. All right, yeah, okay. Hey, that's my stir, don't. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that probably didn't taste good. What, you got concrete on your nose. What's mom gonna say about that? Why would you lick the stir stick? It's not like I'm making cookie dough. You don't lick the utensils. <sighs> no, get out of the concrete. You guys are worse than Rick and Dale. Shoo! I feel like this ain't efficient. I, I, I feel like this is, uh, this ain't it. This ain't the strat here, folks. This takes too much time. Sick, I have one tree. That's it, that's the only one I'm doing of that. I'm, I'm fine doing the PVC ones like that because PVC, like, you can't, oh, I thought you had my stir stick again. I freaked out. For a cedar, you can just throw them down. Like, they'll, they'll sit on the bottom. Like, they might float for a minute, but, like, eventually they'll sit on the bottom. Like, you don't have to weight them down. The reason why you want to weight this one down is I want it straight up and down. I mean, more than likely, this thing's probably just going to fall over anyways. It's probably not going to sit straight up and down. I don't think this is the strategy. I don't think this is the way of doing this. So, any more cedars, I'm just going to throw in naturally and let them sink. I'm going to start working on some concrete. Because these guys will stand up upright because that's the way they'll lay. They'll physically lay just like this so you're your pipes are straight up so i know those will go up that one i'm not sure i have a feeling it's just gonna unless i like bury it i could bury it anyways with that being said i'm gonna i'm gonna move on to the next project and try to do some pvc with some cinder box because i know these this should work a little bit better hopefully yeah stay tuned all right changing it up pvc cinder blocks Let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna pour it directly onto the block. I put this little piece of wood here just so it wouldn't like leak out too bad, but as long as you keep the consistency thick, you know what I'm saying? Thick. It shouldn't really leak out too bad. I'm only gonna fill them both up about halfway. Oh, rip, 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 rip. We got a blowout. You know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna stick them in, something like that. All right. That is full. We're gonna go with six, but then we also have some branches, some natural branches from the uh, tree we cut down that you could always throw in there like that if you wanted to, but let's see if this works. Splash a little bit of water. We'll see. I, I, for some reason, this is working better in my head than it's working right now. I think the best solution is to pre-mix the concrete and then pour it in. I might use the two buckets to do that instead of this, because uh, what I did, I'm not really sure if that's ocean approved or not. Since I've got a blowout here, throw all this in here, whip up a batch of pre-mix, finish it off, pack it in there, and then work on the second one, see if it works better that way. This might take a little bit longer than I thought to dry, though. I didn't, I don't know if I'll get these in before dark or not, but we can at least get them made today. Try sinking some of them tomorrow, or I could do all the cedar work today, sink these tomorrow, either way. Well, I'm done, though. I think that'll work. That's packed in there real nice, like some good structure, flip a jig in there. You'll be good to go. All right, that's enough material. All right, so I've still got some, quite a, quite a bit of pre-mixed crete here. Oh, God. Oh, they don't, they ain't lying when they say it's quick crate cheese and get some water on this guy. For it, place the posts and then take the branches from the cedar tree. We're gonna just incorporate these two. A little natural with a little artificial. Oh, that's a good looking bush there, son. That is a good looking bush. All right, so now I gotta get some concrete in there. Well, that's pretty freaking dry. Money. Yep, that'll do it there, son. I think that's the technique. All right, that one, that one doesn't have as much concrete. Might whip up some more here, but I think the setup of that one went well. Dumping the, the wet mix in it, I think is the way to do that. That should work. There we go, that'll do it. That one is money. All right, well, technically that's three uh, structures of some kind done, this tree. Well, that tree's solid. If I can get it to stand up straight, it'll be good. So, Lucy, don't uh, don't eat the concrete. How many times I gotta tell you? Bad dog. Well, we got two of these down. I've only got two more bags of concrete. I should be able to get, if I play my cards right, I should be able to get four more. So, don't, oh, I just don't realize I don't have any more PVC, though. Rip. I might have to make some natural ones. Let's go find some sticks. Boom! There's your trees, folks. I didn't take you with me, because, I mean, 
I don't think you guys really care to see me chop down some little trees, but there you have it. All these trees right here, um, perfect size. I don't know if I'm gonna leave them full length or chop them in half or whatnot, but that should be enough to at least do two to three more, um, hopefully. I'm gonna see how dry these guys are because I need to move them off this pad. I think they're gonna be dry enough. Concrete's still a little bit wet, but it's not bad. This guy, standing on his own, look at him. He's doing his thing. Well, that's pretty. Oh, that's gonna stand straight up. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be all brute catching bush right there, son. I like that one, even though that one took way too much time and effort. Lucy, what are you doing there, buddy? You swimming? Checking the old water temp for me? But these guys, both are good. That one is good. It's giving a little lean, but I think it should stand up. And we've got some new trees. They're not ideal. You know, they're not gonna last forever, but I mean, it, it's a good bush where it's not quite so thick. Um, it's kind of just like a, yeah, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here, but it'll make for a good structure. Let's just put it that way. So I'm gonna try to get these blocks moved, put a couple more on and put these in. These guys, like I said, are probably gonna be a little bit taller than these guys. So I'm gonna put these a little bit in maybe more shallow areas, maybe not even in the holes. Don't put these in the holes that I made. We'll put those in the holes. The boat, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one yet or how I'm gonna sink it. I do have some extra blocks to use to sink it with and stuff like that, but I'll probably set these guys in some shallower coves and then those guys I'll leave really tall and put them out in the deep. So stay tuned. two bushes and these guys look like they're getting pretty dry let's see oh that's pretty that's actually hard that's that's hard son Woo! all right this is a lot more work than it seems like just mixing concrete especially by yourself it just you gotta do all the freaking work around here but that makes a total of uh five it looks like five one two three four five we still have some trees we have one bag of concrete and some blocks stuff so we do have some more but it looks like these guys are starting to dry up i want to let these guys dry uh before i try to move them off so why don't we try to go place a couple of these maybe well look quit trimming up my bush millie millie you tell her to stop eating that tree that is for a fish cover it's not a snack does that look like a snack Lucy thinks it's a freaking snack. So since we're waiting um, on these other ones to dry, why don't we take, let's take these guys. Yeah, that's not coming out at all. So one, two, the short ones. I'm gonna leave that guy because it's a lot more concrete. I wanna make sure that one's solid. And we're gonna load them up in this sled potentially and then take that four wheeler and try driving them somewhere. I'm not sure if I want to take them up and around. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to take them that way. That is the new road. If you guys are just tuning in, well, you should go watch episode 1, 2 and 3 cuz this is episode 4. Um but we made a new road that goes that way to the secret hidden cabin pond. So, that's the way we're actually going to go and we're going to see if these guys can hold up to the drive. You stay tuned. <laughs> We are off. Time to go get these. We're good. Time to get these suckers in the water. This is that secret road I was telling you guys about. It's the new road. So it's way faster to get to the pond. I like it. It's a lot more efficient. Oh, oh we're doing good. We're doing good. Come on, doggies. We're doing great. Shoo! They made it. We're, we're down to the cabin pond now. And I gotta figure out where I want these suckers. So in case you guys haven't seen it, that's where we're putting the cabin. This is the new pond. So we were up way over there now we're over here and so this is the start of it it's got the whole thing will be water eventually it's it's still filling up right now lucy's helping fill it up right there but cabin there we're sitting on the dam so we got to find a spot so i think i can go drive down there and i can try to get back there to try to set these guys up and then i'm thinking the the tall ones or the boat whatever's big and bulky i'm thinking about trying to just like push it off or or somehow get it in there because this is where we're going to be doing a lot of fishing especially the bank fishing is going to be down here so i want structure here but i would also like a little bit out there which is where i think i'm gonna put these guys out there maybe or maybe just like right over there so i i don't know i haven't made my mind up what i want in life but let's just see if i get stuck going that way Shoo! we made it lucy you're my 
Look at that, how muddy that dog is right there. Well, we made it down uh, to where I was digging the holes. If you guys missed that episode, again, you probably should check it out. Well, these are the holes I made. So that one doesn't look deep. We'll see if Lucy, why is it orange like that? Lu Lucy probably shouldn't drink that. I don't know, I'm not sure why that's, Lucy, Lucy, come here. I'm not sure why that's orange, Rick. You guys comment down below, why is that orange? I don't know. But that hole right there, as it sits, is probably eight to 10 feet deep right now without any more water. See, Lucy's trying to fill up the pond. We dug that one way out. Then over here, I'm showing you what we did for episode three with the excavator here. We dug another deep pond here. That guy is pretty much the same depth as right now, six to eight. Once it's full, it should be closer to 15. Oh, yep, you see, I wasn't lying when I said it was deep, Lucy. You just, you didn't listen to me. Yeah, you can get out that way, it gets shallow. Yeah, and then we've got one more back there. So I tore all this up. It was nice and flat. I, I tore all this up uh, to try to get some nice depth. So since I've got two PVCs, I think I'm gonna put one in this hole and I'm gonna put one in that hole. And I'll probably add more to it. Um, it's just, it's a lot of work to build these artificial ones. Um, but you know, going over and grabbing that cedar tree and throwing it in that hole isn't that hard. So I'm gonna try to do, is that a, oh, that might be a dog print. I thought that was a deer print. I don't know how there's deer down here walking around in the mud, but I think I'm gonna take one and throw it right in the center of that. And uh, we'll start with that. Again, you can always add more. Once uh, once this is full, you can put these on a boat. It's actually, now that I think about it, honestly, it might be a little easier to do this once it's full. I guess you don't know exactly how it's all getting positioned and stuff, but like being able to just put everything on a boat and drive around and drop it in the water seems easier than doing this. Maybe getting that stuff, dragging it on a sled. And anyways, let's see if I can get one in this hole over here. Oh. Shoot! Look at that! No, don't chase it. Dude, that looks sick. Lucy, there's nothing. No, you leave that bush. Hey, no, leave it. She's trying to retrieve everything, which is not a bad thing, but that's sick. That's perfect. Woo, those suckers are freaking heavy. Lucy, leave the bush. You don't need her to bring it. No, it's too heavy. Get back. We got one bush in. All right, brush pile number two. Going in hot. That's good on there, son. No, Lucy. Look. Oh, I think Corona's really taking it out of me right now. Millie, am I out of shape or am I dying? Woo! We got number two in. These are perfect. No, loose, loose. It doesn't need to be retrieved. Sorry, but here. You want to stay? Hey. Hey, Lucy, fetch. There you go. You bring me that stick. All right, you got it. Shoo! Look at that guy. See, ideally, you would have like five of these, but. One, I don't have the materials because I only use what PVC I had. You can always add more. Um, but imagine, you know, having a whole bunch of these guys sitting in here. So here we'll probably be sitting at with that depth, which was about three. It's not quite as deep as I thought it was. It might have silted in a little bit, um, but probably three plus another three, six, nine, probably eight to 10 foot. This brush pile is. And then that one is going to be much deeper. That one's probably going to be a uh, 12 to 15 er. So we got two down so far. The uh, four wheeler has not gotten stuck, which is great. And uh, we're to go up and grab some of the other ones and make a few more hopefully and then figure out how to get the boat in here i'm not exactly sure what the strat is and where i want to bury the boat but uh anyways you guys stay tuned shoo all right we made it back lucy what what are you <laughs> Did you just get excited because I shoot? You want, you want me to throw a stick for you? Hey, no, not that big one Here, don't chill you want this one come on come on come on come on come on sit fetch millie let her go fetch go fetch Go get it, Lucy. Come on, buddy, you got it. Get that stick there, buddy. Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. That's such a good little retriever. So then Millie, watch. See, then Millie's just gonna harass her for the stick, even though Millie doesn't even like stuff. See, what, see? Yep, yep, yep. See, and then, then Millie tries to take the stick and... You can't train a dog with another dog, at least not Millie. But uh, anyways, we're back here. Uh, these guys are probably about dry and uh, I've got enough sticks to probably make one more. I have five, five more block and one bag of concrete. So realistically, I could probably... Uh, maybe I'll just go chop down a couple more trees. I'll just, I'll just chop a couple of these down or something. Let's make two more. So that way we'll have a total of seven or so. Um, and I might end up putting some of these in the same same holes that I already threw those other ones in. Cause I talked about, oh, it'd be cool if there was more. Well, I, I have, there's no point in setting these up on the land because that's only really gonna have four or five feet of water on it, which these are six, seven, eight foot tall. So like, it doesn't really make sense. You want these in those deeper holes there. So I'm gonna make two more um, with these trees, couple more trees, and then start taking them out. And then this boat, I came up with an idea of how I'm gonna sink this guy. I need to go get my excavator and I'm gonna go and crunch these floats. There's some floats right here. I think those are floats. At least a lot of times there's boats that have floats in there. At least just kind of crumple that up 
puncture some holes in the bottom. Try to leave it the shape of the boat intact, but make sure this thing will sink. And then I'm going to drag it out there. And I think I'm going to shove it off of the dam. And it should float for a little bit. I'm going to put the four, three cinder, I saw three cinder blocks, three cinder blocks in it and try to just sink the whole raft to hopefully catch some fish on later. So anyways, that being said, enjoy the time lapse. We'll be making two more of these guys. And then let's grab the excavator and crush this boat. <laughs> bushes that's a freaking giant one that thing's probably 15 feet tall you might see that one uh sticking out but the rest of them look good i had a teeny little bit of quick create less so i made whatever the hell you call that thing uh just like a little shallow and that one i won't put in a hole i'll just put up up on the bank or not up on the bank but up on dry land that is dry land now but wow these i mean that's some structure if you ask me, I mean, that is a lot of bushes to be, uh, well, fish to be living in them, I guess. So I think what we're going to do, I mean, it's starting to get kind of dark. Uh, probably got like an hour-ish of sunlight left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones that are dry, the ones I originally did, haul them out there, throw them in, come back, and I'm going to grab the boat. And we need to get the excavator and crunch that and then try to go sink the boat. And then by the time I sink the boat, the last ones that I just did, I would think would be dry enough for me to go haul them off. And Lucy, do you want me to throw you a stick? Is that what you really want? Can, can you wait? How about, how about I throw you a stick at the other pond? Is that a deal? All right, dope. Anyway, let's get these guys loaded up. Oh, cheese and rice. I don't think this one's gonna go as smooth as the other one. Those are a lot heavier. So far, so good, I think. Oh God, rip. Hey, stay, nope, nope. Ah, oh, rip. Rip, rip. All right, this ain't it. So far, so good. Woo, I think we're okay. Oh, shoot. Well, I think I'm gonna go take these to the same holes as before and throw them in, uh, throw them in there. Oh, actually, I might try throwing one right over here. God, that's water. Nice. Lucy, you don't need to get that one either, buddy. Hey, you gotta leave that one. Leave it. Woo! We got brush pod right there, folks. Shoo! It didn't stand up straight. I couldn't throw it high enough to land, but it's not terrible. Um, this way, bank fishing, like if you're right here, you can stand here and bank fish. Right in the middle there, you're gonna have some nice cover. I definitely wanna make sure we've got some here, again, for the for the shore fishing. I can always throw cedars in afterwards and plant them where I want based off of wh where do I usually shore fish. Um, you know, does that side seem too steep to shore fish? Maybe put more brush piles over here or whatever. So I don't wanna put too many here because this is where, you know, if I've got my nieces, nephews coming down here, they're gonna be casting. And I don't want them getting hung up. So I'm not gonna put too many right here but ideally I'd put some out there in that deeper spot but we've got one left in the the dealio I'm gassed those are heavy the blocks were 40 concrete probably makes it 60 branch is 70 which I know is not that heavy but it's just awkward and I need some you need to be a real beefcake to be handling this thing but anyways let's go throw this uh the old cedar down in one of them holes over there change of plans I'm throwing it right here I've got a really good spot uh see I can stand right here and it's an immediate drop. So this would be a really good spot for, for some brush since I can get close. It's better than that one. Now I kind of regret throwing that one there. I should have thrown it here, but I'll throw that guy right here. Yeet. Oh, beautiful. Don't fall. Don't do it. Don't do it. Lucy, you don't need to get that one either, buddy. It stayed standing. Now that's a good cedar. Perfect, because the water, so the water's gonna be right here. Look at this water line. So where I'm standing will be six feet of water. I think he said he was thinking it might go up one more foot. So seven feet is where I'm standing. That's another three or four feet. So you're talking 11-ish, straight drop, nice brush pile. The fish are nice and shallow, big, deep, solid cedar brush pile that's gonna stand vertical. That's what you want, folks, right there. Woo, let's go get the rest. All right, I just got another one down here. I didn't film it because I'm trying to get done before dark, so I'm trying to make it fast and not carry the camera. It's kind of hard to carry the camera with the four-wheel and drive at the same time, but we got one right here. I think I'm going to put it over here uh, uh, as well because I really like being able to come right here and throw it. That's a nice deep pocket. So we got one there. I'm going to try to throw one right, right over there. Shoo! So you want it right there. 
Tyler! I don't know about you guys, but I'm freaking tired right now. I don't know if it's the COVID deal. I heard shortness of breath is... Bre wow, English is tough. Shortness of breath is a, a symptom, but... I feel like I just ran a four marathons. Oh God, yeah. I feel like I'm not normally this winded. I'm usually kind of winded, but this is next level winded. Okay, now it's time to try to sink the boat. I think this is actually a really good spot to, to do it. It's really deep, so I think I could just push it and try sliding it and see if I can get to like float a little bit and then sink right in the middle kind of by these trees. I think that'd be a pretty cool spot to sink the boat. Otherwise, I could always just, now that I think about it, there's no real reason to sink sink the boat because this is gonna be seven feet of water, which it will then be sunk. So I might actually, I'm just gonna leave the boat right here. That way it's like the boat structure and then next to the boat is this type of uh, deal. I'm gonna set the boat right here with some cinder blocks and hope when the water rises that it doesn't float. But we gotta pop some holes in it. So let's go get the excavator. Shoo! All right, we got the boat over here with the excavator. Time to do a little crunching. I got some holes in it, but we really gotta make sure there's there's not a bunch of foam in there to keep it floating. We gotta puncture some holes in the bottom and then we'll put four, three or four cinder blocks on it and hope it, hope it stays down when the water rises. So enjoy the crunching. That's a nice boat. I like this boat. Phew, yeah, I don't think she's floating anymore. Hey, those were filled with foam though. That's what I said. I knew what I was doing or talking about or something, but uh, yeah, I don't think she'll be floating. Millie, what do you think? Look at these holes. I was popping all these holes in the bottom. You can see all that foam that's in there now. That whole, the whole like taco crunch, total accidental. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, it's still, I, I mean, I try to like flatten it back out into the shape of a boat. Uh, I mean, you can still tell it's a boat. But I don't think it's going to be floating. But there was some uh, some foam in there. That's what I was saying, the styrofoam. So now that kind of got some holes in that, punctured it and stuff like that. I feel like four cinder blocks, I think. I don't know. It could still float. But I feel like it's not going to float. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to sink. So anyways, let's, uh, let's drag this back, load up some cinder blocks, and try to get this thing in position to, to sink. Shoo! We made it. I just realized I'm stepping on the survival shelter. Right there, there's the old survival, it's right here. The old survival shelter. That'll be some nice cover for some fish too. But we got it down here, chained it up, drug it down, and uh, I think I just need to honestly, I'm just gonna scoot it to this edge here and we should be good to go. All right, I got the last of it, okay? We got one right there, and I just brought that one down here. I'm not gonna lie, folks, I am exhausted. These are the videos where having banjo and pool jet really helps because uh, a lot of manual labor involved, and then I gotta worry about the camera, and then I'm just not as big of a beefcake as I am with the other two guys. I mean, it's just, the, the power of three beefcakes is just uncomparable at this point. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bush along with that one. Uh, that way, I might even put it a little bit shallower, like just on that little shelf there. And then this one is gonna go with this guy right over here. So there's room for another one right there. So let's give these old boys a yeet. That's not bad. I lost half the branches towing it. Maybe I should have let the old quick creep cure for a little bit longer. I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeet. Oh, good enough. No, you don't need to go get that one either. Woo! All right, I'm done. Millie, I need dinner. I'm dying over here. Oh, God. Woo! Phew! Well, folks, I was gonna keep going. I was gonna go grab, wow, English, grab 
some cedar trees and bring them in and set them in here but i'll be honest i don't have the energy i've never been this gassed from a youtube video in my life it's got to be ill corona because i literally feel like i just ran a mile like two miles three miles it's brutal i mean those are heavy i, I like not gonna lie those are ye just yeeting a 70 to 80 pound awkward piece of branch and the first few seemed easier than these ones i don't know if i just got weaker throughout the night or if they got heavier but this one i'm i'm happy with the position uh that's what pays off having the super heavy weights is that tree is going to stay just like it so the fish are going to swim down into the deep they get one bush or they get that artificial pvc bush so when we come to fish this we're going to look at these trees and we're going to make a flip and that is going to be the area dreams are made of i'm not i'm calling it right now mark my freaking words we will catch a fish out of this okay any Anyways, that's all I've got. Like I said, I'd like to keep going. I don't plan on filling this pond up for a couple days. Um, it's going to take a long time to fill it too. So if I get some energy tomorrow, I might come out and throw some cedars. Like even if I just, you know, threw a big pile of them just right here, you know, that might only be seven, eight feet deep, but it's better than nothing. And it'll be easier because I don't have to build them and I don't have to yeet them. I literally can just hook them up with a chain on the four wheeler, go drag them, unhook them, leave them, and just put some brush piles kind of intermixed throughout here. And then this pond is done and ready to get flooded. And once it's flooded, we'll add some fish. I'm not sure why that's orange though. It's kind of throwing me off and i'm really hoping the whole pond doesn't turn out that way because that would be kind of a botch it's it's like golden orangish brownish deal but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video remember if you guys want to go cop any of the new beefcake merch it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out 10 percent off using promo code flare we've got all sorts of new designs i'll pop them up here so go check them out they're limited once they're gone they are gone hopefully you guys are enjoying the solo covid vlogs i'm trying to keep the pond dream series alive i started this series with the boys and are gonna have to finish it without the boys because uh well they don't want the old rona so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video lucy needs a big bubble bath she is she is really really dirty anyways i'll catch you guys on the next one on episode five which should be filling this thing so yeah stay tuned